Hi Fuller Reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video I'm going to dedicate it to the Blastomosa, one of the corals that I got on Black Friday from, of course, Worldwide Corals. So people that follow me know the routine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to now uh, do a close-up video on the actual coral and I do some research on each individual corals that I recently purchased. Then I go ahead and I make a outline, a bullet point on my laptop and then I talk about it. So let's take a deep dive into it and check it out. Okay, so here we are focused at the Blastomosa. And this is what I found out. First of all, it's an LPS. In other words, large polyp stony coral. Now it comes from the family Mosaidius, and I'll spell it out on the video. The origin of these corals, of course, is from Australia. Now, the Blastomosa willis live in turb turbine or turbid, shall we call, waters on lower reef slopes at depths from 0 to 131 feet. In other words, 0 to 40 meters. They feed at night, extending their tentacles. Now, Blastomosa corals is also referred to as open brain coral, swollen brain coral, Willis brain, big pipe Blastomosa, or alternatively, as its scientific name, Blastomosa willis. In other words, B. willis. Its polyps growth creates a dome-like shape, like what you're seeing here, the fluorescent green. In other words, some refer to it as a B. willis, as the moon coral. Now, the Blastomosa will get most of its required energy via photosynthesis through the Suncentelli within its tissue. Though they have sweeper tentacles, they are not considered aggressive as their sting is not very strong. Now let's go ahead and go into the actual care requirements or placement of this coral. First of all, placement. This coral should be placed between the middle to lower quadrant of the tank as you see here. I have it on the lower part. The growth, as per research, uh, the growth pattern on these corals is slow to medium. So they're not fast, fast growers like, let's say, certain agros or other corals in general. And when it comes to feeding, uh, they, they, it's really not needed and really, you really shouldn't go out of your way to feed them. But they can be fed. Zooplankton, mysis, cyclophrees, and other very small mice, shrimp, or fish, meaty foods, and phytoplankton, or in other words, powdered uh, foods like what I use, reef roids or reef chili. Now, when it comes to water flow, uh, I found out that uh, they tolerate low to medium water flow. Then when it comes to lighting, of course, being on the lower quadrant of the tanks, it's considered low to moderate uh, light. Water chemistry, I found out in general within normal limits. So normal limits, a pH of 8.0 to 8.2 uh, temperature, I'd say uh, 78 to 80. You know, the DKH between 8 and 12 DKH. And uh, I would say the mag between 1200 to 1350 or 1380. Uh, calcium, 400 to 450. You know, I mean, the standard parameters that are found on reefs out there and also in captivity here in containment on, on your reef aquariums. Now, almost finally, the difficulty level it's very, it's, I, I would say, by what I found out, easy to moderate. And then the cure level of this coral, well, it's good to beginners and intermediate coral reef hobbyists. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it educational and interesting. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And next to it, that, there's a little bell. That's the notification bell. So if you hit that, you activate on your device notifications and every time I upload a video, which is usually weekly,
you'll be the first ones to know that I did so. Now, before I go uh, and end this video, I don't know next week if I'm going to shoot a video or not because being Christmas, and I usually start on Mondays and then I finish uh, editing and uploading either Wednesday or Thursdays, I'm not sure if I'm going to have another video. But just in case if I don't, I want to wish all of my followers and everybody that checks out my channel a uh, Merry Merry Christmas to all of you out there or Happy Holidays. Now, before I end the video, as you notice on all of them, I always say at the end, Happy Reefing. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, bye-bye.